welcome back to my channel. If you're wondering where I am, well, this is our living room. It's our formal living room, and we just got it cleaned up for the holidays, and we did some photos, and Rail's actually sitting on the other end of this couch. <laughs> And I didn't want to leave. I didn't want to go downstairs into my beauty room. And the light is good today. It's about noon here, so it hasn't gotten really dark yet. But you guys know in the winter, it gets really dark here very soon. Kind of like when Angelica says how dark it is in Sweden. Anyway, I've been meaning to film a new Will I Buy video. I also don't have a mic, so I'm trying to talk really, really loud. But yeah, I was just really feeling it feeling being up here and I thought we'll film in our living room. So hopefully that explains everything that's going on right now. And I did pull up trend mood to see what's new, what's happening. And there's been so many new releases and I'm sure you guys saw it in my what I bought on Black Friday video. I had a ton of new stuff that I bought as well. Half of it hasn't even come in yet so a little bit excited about that. I'm semi on a no buy for December. I don't want to like come out and say it because I feel like if I do and then I don't and then I buy something, you guys are going to be really disappointed in me. But I'm going to try it. I'm going to try and see to not buy anything. We did buy some Bath and Body Works candles though this weekend because they have the candle sale. Okay, I'm just, I'm just blabbering. So let's get into it. The first thing I see on here is they just revealed the new. Jeffree Star Supreme Frost Pro Palette. It's called Northern Lights and it says it includes six new shades Icy Blue, Icy Green, Icy Pink, Purple, Orange, and Gold. Four shades are blinding and two are more like toppers for $54. He's also doing four new makeup bags as well as a fanny pack and this will all go on sale on December 7th. So right away, when I see the highlighter palette, it's definitely not my makeup vibes. I know a lot of people love the colorful highlighters. I prefer more neutral highlighters, so I won't be picking that up. I did really like the look of his makeup bags because I'm sure you guys know I'm obsessed with the shade green. I talk about it all the time in my YouTube channel. So because of the color, it makes me want to buy it, but I don't need a makeup bag, so I won't be buying any of that stuff. The next thing I see is all the new launches are now available on Ulta as well as Sephora, I think. So if you've been eyeing the Too Faced Pretty Rich palette, the new Tardis Pro Remix palette, um, their blush palette, all the new Kylie stuff is on there. I'm passing on all of that. And then the new mini on the run eyeshadow palettes by Urban Decay are available. I think I saw that people were seeing them at their local Macy's. I personally am not digging the vibes of this palette. They're very jewel tone, kind of darker shades. And I feel like I have these shades over and over again in my collection. So I'm not interested in that. The next thing I see here is the Juvia's Place New Nubian Mini Eyeshadow Palette. And this is a limited edition for $8, curated with the top six colors from the Nubian palette. I have the Nubian palette. I recently uploaded my Juvia's Place collection. And I had mentioned in there that the Nubian is kind of my least favorite. These colors are so great if you're just starting out in makeup. But for someone like me, I have these shades in my collection a hundred times over. So I will not be picking that up. The next thing I see is Lawless Beauty did launch their first ever eyeshadow palette. I talked about this previously in another video, but now you can actually buy it on the Lawless website. It says it's coming soon to Sephora. This is a $64 palette. Honestly, this palette gives me Huda vibes, it gives me the Sephora Pro Palette vibes, and it also gives me Morphe vibes, like a lot of the 35O palettes are set up like this because they have like the warm shades and a few shimmers here and there. I'm assuming the quality of this will be a lot better than those palettes that I had mentioned because of the higher price tag, but I've never tried anything from Lawless Beauty, so yeah, I don't really have too much to say about that. Now this was so exciting, I screamed when I saw that Blush Tribe made it on Trend Mood, specifically Paulina Beauty and her collab with Blush Tribe as well as the Munaza palette. And I, like I said at the beginning of this video, I'm trying not to buy anything. Paulina's palette was my exception. I had to support Paulina. 
I know she said you didn't have to buy the palette to support her, but this is so amazing for her. I'm so happy for her. And uh, this will probably be one of my last like palette purchases of 2018. But I love the color she chose. She also loves green eyeshadow. And then I love that she did like the pinks and the purples. And I'm so excited for mine to come in the mail. So you guys can expect a review or like get ready with me when I receive that palette in 2019. So I just want to take this chance again to say congrats to Paulina and Blush Drive for their awesome achievement. And then it looks like Zara is coming out with their own makeup line, which I thought is really fascinating. I don't have a Zara store near me, but there's one at the Mall of America. You can also shop online. So it looks like they're doing night matte liquid lipsticks for $10 each and eight velvety matte lipsticks for $13 each. And these sound really cool. It says it was selected by Pat McGrath. I don't know if that's supposed to be like a selling point that it was you know, picked out by her, but these will be available on their site December 5th. Definitely not something I'm planning on picking up. I have like a list of stuff I'm trying not to buy this year. Basically everything except eyeshadow palettes I've kind of told myself I don't need to buy because, I don't know, complexion products and blushes and highlights and stuff, I feel like I just have so much, so I won't be buying um, any lipsticks anytime soon unless it's like something that really, really catches my attention. And then, okay, Alta Beauty is now carrying the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear 24-Hour Foundation, Longwear Foundation with Breathable Skin Technology. I would love to try more drugstore foundations. My only issue, actually just foundations in general, is I have such a hard time matching my shade. When the Sephora sale happened again that last weekend, I picked up the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation, and they had just launched a new shade, I think it was like 8.5 or 8.75 or something, and I picked it up, and I felt like it was a good match for me, but then in some lights it looked so orange, and so I was kind of disappointed by that, but also again I'm like, okay, well I'm glad I don't like the $65 foundation. I just have such a hard time. I feel like Huda and NARS are the two brands, like off the top of my head, I know that don't make an orange foundation, they make like a more yellow foundations I really appreciate those two I don't know if I'll be trying L'Oreal anytime soon because I just have such a hard time shade matching and I just rather wear what I know works for me Glam Glow is coming out with a new product I must say I love the packaging on this it's so unicorn and it's basically a what is this looks like it's a face wash so it says it's a daily conditioning cleanser to gently but effectively cleanse skin and remove face makeup and daily impurities I really like Glam Glow's product line. I love the Super Mud mask and the face wash. So I would definitely be interested in trying something like this. I recently picked up the Sunday Riley face wash and I tried it a few times. I didn't think it was impressive for the price tag. I had the Tatcha Deep Cleanse. I picked that up in the first round of the Sephora sale. That product is excellent. And I've also been using the Soap and Glory face wash. So I feel like I don't need a new face wash at this time, so I will be passing on that. This product I'm really interested in. This has me really intrigued. If I buy this, I would kind of be breaking my no buy, so I'm not sure. But you guys know how much I love Huda Beauty. And she's coming out with three lipsticks called the Powder Bullets. And they're sparkly lipsticks in smooth satin formulas with a glittery finish. So she has three metallic shades for $20 each. There's Cake Day, After Party, and New Year's Eve. And New Year's Eve has my attention because it's a it's a dramatic red with wampy undertones, and it just looks like it'd be perfect for the holidays. And this will be available December 3rd. So I will keep you guys posted. I don't buy everything Huda comes out with, but I'm really curious about this formula. So I will let you guys know if I pick that up or not. NARS is coming out with a collection to celebrate the Lunar New Year, three power matte lip pigments, and they're also coming out with a glow cushion compact. So this is definitely more Asian skincare, like the cushion compacts are big in Asian countries, I believe is what I've heard. The packaging is really drawing me in. It's kind of giving me Matt Patrick Star vibes, but I don't think I'll be picking anything up from it, but it just looked beautiful and I wanted to mention it to you guys. 
Didn't see this coming, so Pat McGrath launched three new versions of Star Blades. And so from what I can tell, they're just like extra glittery lipsticks. The advertising on this looked so beautiful. Those, those liquids were glowing like a freaking Christmas tree. So these are gorgeous. Again, they're $38 each, so they're pretty pricey. I have a different shade I picked up from when they first launched. And honestly, I haven't even worn that one yet. So I'm just going to wait because I don't need any more. And then if you haven't had your chance to pick up the, the Amrezy X Anastasia Beverly Hills Highlighter, I don't know why you haven't. It is a beautiful highlighter. You definitely don't need it, but honestly, I feel like it complements very many skin tones. I can wear it, and I think it's a beautiful formula. So if you're looking for like a go-to highlighter that's easy to wear, I would recommend it because I do think it's beautiful. So Physicians Formula is coming out with a butter eyeshadow palette. I feel like they're really milking this, you know, butter line. And good for them, I guess. Personally, when I look at the palette, these shades, it's called Tropical Days. It's really not giving me very tropical vibes. It's a whole lot of browns, as Rel would say, and there's a purple and a blue shade that aren't very, like, like light colors are very like smoky blues and purples so not really uh, I don't know I just think it's like okay but nothing that I would want to pick up for myself. BH Cosmetics just revealed a collaboration they're doing with a influencer named Sylvia I believe and honestly my first thought of this palette I know a lot of people said it looked like the Sigma collab that just came out this one to me kind of gives me like Tarte vibes, like that new artist palette or whatever the heck they came out with. The colors are giving me that vibe. I think this palette is beautiful. It honestly looks so classy, like the packaging. It looks expensive. Like it really does look expensive. It looks like it's very high quality. The packaging is beautiful, so I love that. And it's 22 shades for $24. And launch was de December 5th at 11.30 a.m. online on BH Cosmetics. I don't think I'll be picking this up. Well, I can't buy it because I'm no buy. I did pick up the Zodiac 2 um, on Black Friday or what, whenever it launched. And I'm so excited. It's not here yet. The one thing about BH Cosmetics is they are so freaking slow. When I get it, you guys will definitely see it on my channel. I'm so excited to play with that palette. Zoeva is coming out with a eyeshadow palette called Electric Eyes. I think I talked about this in my last Will I Buy, and a lot of people are really interested in this because it is a little bit of a different color scheme. It seems more cool tone or has more cool tone shades. I won't be buying anything from Zoeva, honestly. I don't like their formula. It's a brand I tried, I think, this year or last year, and it's honestly kind of a waste of money for me. Um, but when we're in Europe, I'll try and see if I can find it and I would love to show you guys, you know, how it's displayed and stuff in stores there because I know I'm really curious to see if I'll find any cool, like, European brands. Anyway, this is something I really wanted. I almost convinced Rail to buy it for me for Christmas, but by the time, by the time I, you know, was having a busy day at work and I think these like sold out in like an instant, which is insane because they're so expensive. These are the Sonia G, the Pro Eye Set, uh, five new brushes with stunning new handles, designed, handcrafted. They're like handmade in Japan by Master Craftsman. And uh, they are $150 for five eyeshadow brushes. So I do like that Beautylish does that payment plan where you can just split up the payments. It does make it a little bit of an easier pill to swallow, but yeah, I, I had my eye on those and they like sold out right away, so who knows when they'll restock or if I'll even want them when they do. Okay, this is actually really gorgeous. I don't think this is actually something I would buy and wear, but it's so beautiful. This is a sneak peek of some new marble balm that Lancome is coming out with, so it's like a lip balm. And they're doing three shades, and it just looks so beautiful. Um, I don't know. I think it's I think it's really pretty. So I'm excited to see what those look like. And uh, now online, they've got this new Tardis Pro Glow and Blush Palette. 
$45 includes six full-size cheek shades, four blushes, one highlighter, and one bronze, one bronzer. I have been hearing so many beauty gurus talking about this palette, and I am just like, I'm so confused. First of all, I love that Tarte had the nerve to swatch this palette on a deep skin tone because on the deep skin tone, like they all look the same, like all the blushes look like they're the same shade. And then it's like, what like deep dark skin tone can wear that bronzer? Look at that color on that arm. It literally looks like somebody took like a cream, like a brown eyeshadow and just like rubbed it on that hand. So I hate that Tarte does this because I think, you know, we're all talking about like inclusivity and blah, blah, blah. It's like, can they not just make two of these and make one for dark skin tones and one for light skin tones? Why are they trying to like make it seem like this is going to work for somebody with a deep skin tone? It's not going to work for somebody with a deep skin tone. The colors are definitely made more for a light to maybe medium, so it just bothers me that they do that, and it's like, for a company that pumps out as much product as Tarte, you'd think they would just make two different palettes to be more inclusive, but anyway, we're, we're done with inclusivity in 2018, right, where I was just gonna, just, <laughs> anyway, okay, so did I talk about the Too Faced Pretty Rich palette? I feel like I did, so a lot of people... I'm actually surprised a lot of people are giving this palette very positive feedback. I've seen a lot of people say that they actually really like this palette, blah, 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 blah. And I was a little bit shocked because when you really look at it, it's, it's quite a boring palette. It kind of gives me Becca Volcano Goddess vibes, like the colors. So it's got to be just like the Too Faced name maybe that's making people think. I'm just gonna wait for Lucy to get to the dog bowl because her clack, 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 clack is gonna be a while. Okay, Lucy, are you coming back? Oh, she's still drinking. Oh, here she comes. Lucy, come here. I think the dogs also got to get their pictures taken, which should be fun. I'm excited to see those photos. Okay, so back to the Too Faced palette. Yeah, I just, I don't understand. I don't know if it's people getting it in PR. So they are like, hey, it's a free palette and it's not, I don't think it's hideous. I just, I just don't understand like who doesn't have these colors anymore is what I'm trying to say. Mm. Oh, hello, Luz. Okay, so here's another thing. Wet n Wild is launching Photo Focus Primer Waters, but they're doing different scents, and so they're $4.99, and there's In Love with the with Cocoa, Tropical Coconut, Cool as a Cucumber, Cucumber, and Rose Addiction, which is a floral rose, and I think, great, you know, Wet n Wild is pumping out the product, I like their price point, I honestly haven't bought anything from them recently, what I felt like was happening with me is I bought their product because it was so affordable, but it wasn't something I was, you know, reaching for every day. So even though they have so many new beautiful things, I'm like avoiding their website because I don't really want anything from them, but I do think they are a good brand. And there was a time where I was definitely checking for Wet n Wild like constantly. Okay, here's Smashbox. I wish they would just stop with these eyeshadow palettes. Now they're doing a cover shot palette but this is an LA cover shot eyeshadow palette and this one's actually bigger than the, the regular size cover shot palettes and I feel like the reason people liked the cover shot palettes was their size because the quality I hear is garbage but but they keep making more so I think this is a beautiful idea I think the packaging is beautiful but it looks like they took two palettes like this should have been two palettes and they smushed them together because the one side that has like fun colors and then the other side is like a little bit more cool tone so yeah let me know if you guys are picking this up I'd love to hear like your feedback on it. So Desi Perkins collab with Benefit Cosmetics and they did a collection called Bomb Ass Brows and I think Desi is so beautiful she is just like her hair everything her house is gorgeous she's just like I don't know if I could be a famous beauty guru like or switch places with someone, I would switch places with Desi. 
Also, she's always eating like Mexican food and that's like my favorite thing. So, <laughs> um, she's gorgeous. I love her. And um, I just wish that, you know, when people got to collab with brands, it was just more than putting their face on a box and basically reselling and rehyping products that they already have. Especially because Desi is, I think, very creative with her makeup. I think someday she's definitely going to have like another eyeshadow palette collab and stuff like that. And I'm excited to see it, but this was just not one that I'm excited about or will be purchasing. New eyeshadow palette called Ignited is gorgeous. I love the packaging. It's beautiful. Do I think this is anything special that, you know, needs to be in my collection? Absolutely not. I actually am not sure. I don't know who these palettes are for, like, because NARS is spendy, so I can't imagine, like, a makeup beginner wanting to buy a $59 eyeshadow palette. And... The glitters, I feel like you do have to like use a glitter glue or foil them and I can't imagine a beginner knowing how to do that. So I don't really know who is buying these eyeshadow palettes. I do like NARS a whole lot though so I'm not going to keep, you know, slamming them but man, I just think it's so interesting that they come out with these really expensive palettes but they're also sometimes very basic but then I shouldn't talk because NARS does do some like really wild palettes too and I'm like no. <laughs> okay, here's something I'm actually excited for. I did pick this up. You guys know how much I love Kale Polish. Oh my gosh, I love Kale Polish's formula and stuff like that. And so she just launched her winter collection and I did pick it up. So I'm excited for these colors to come in. And you guys know I'll be painting my nails and throwing up, um, you know, little screen snap Instagram thingies on my Instagram stories. If you guys want to see what those shades look like on me. Fenty Beauty is doing a online exclusive. Um, Riri is giving us bling. I don't know. Whatever. So this is like a limited edition thing. And oh, they're, they only customize 10 walls. Wall, walls. Limited edition. 300 and what? This is $350. Are they on drugs? Okay, so there's 10 of these and they're $350. And that's not all. 100% of all sales goes to the Bad Girl very uh, Bad Girl Riri's very own foundation. Okay, so that's kind of cool. So there's 10 of them. They're 350, and 100% of the sale will go to her foundation, which I think is cool. So somebody with a lot of cash can buy this, and then the money will get donated, which I think is awesome. It's not something I have personally the funds to do, but I think that if you do. Have why not, you know? Why not? I'm kind of eyeing this. <laughs> I'm kind of eyeing this, but I can't justify it. So, Ulta Beauty just got some exclusive ColourPop products. The Rendezvous eyeshadow palette for $16, like calling my name a little bit because it's got that like middle row of the pink, the orange, and the blue. But I feel like I have these colors from ColourPop, so I'm gonna be passing on it, but I do think it's really, really beautiful. Here's the other thing. <laughs> okay, more ColourPop. Here is the other thing. I feel so bad because when I first saw this palette, my immediate reaction was like, I was right because in one of my videos, I think it was my last will I buy a video, I said, I think ColourPop is definitely going to have another Christmas collection and they're definitely going to come up with like three more eyeshadow palettes um, before the end of the year. And obviously they did the Ulta ones. And now they're doing this one with Becky G, so there'll probably be like a New Year's palette is what I'm thinking. And I was just like, oh, this looks so stupid. But the more I see this palette, I feel like I want it. I feel like I want it because I love the colors. A lot of people are comparing it to the Dream Street palette and a lot of other color pop palettes. But the thing I think people don't realize is this palette is honestly made for I can see it being more suitable for people with skin tones like mine. And when you look at the Dream Street palette, because I watched a bunch of Will I Buy It videos prior to filming this one this morning, and all the like the four, like the top row and the bottom middle row, the four shades towards the left hand side are definitely geared towards more lighter skin tone people. So I think it's easy for people to say like, oh, this is so dumb, like ColourPop already has this palette like a hundred times over, but when you see this palette on people with medium 
and deep skin tones. It's so freaking beautiful. I saw a Makeup Shayla's video where she uses palette. It looks so good. I don't even like Makeup by Shayla. Yeah, it just looked gorgeous on her. The, you know, that red, that brown, the orange, like they're all like calling to me. And so I might, I might pick it up and I really want the lippies too. I know Colourpop probably has like a hundred dupes to all these shades. And I actually bought a bunch of their liquid lipsticks when they first launched liquid lipsticks. And I swear the formula has come a long, long way, but I haven't bought any from them recently. So I feel like this might be the collection where I go back because I ended up decluttering all the old ones I had because I wasn't wearing any of them. But I just love the look of these liquid, like the ultra matte liquid lipsticks. She's got Besame. Secreto, Secreto, and Floor, like those colors just I know will look so good on medium to deep skin tones, so I got my eyes on those. Um, BH Cosmetics launched this palette. It's an all matte wearable palette called the Ultimate Matte Palette, I believe. I don't know. It includes 42 shades for $19.50. That's the introductory price. Regular price is $24. And... <laughs> I feel like, I don't know, there's, I feel like BH Cosmetics has a decent matte formula. I was actually really surprised when I first tried BH Cosmetics this year at how good their matte formula was, but I feel like this would have been more effective if it was a bunch of small palettes, like they had done a colorful palette like this, a more neutral palette, so people that are, you know, more drawn to those types of colors could just have a smaller palette, so like a 12 pan or a, you know, 10 pan, 8 pan, kind of, you know, really split this up because you don't really need all of these shades. Some of them look kind of repetitive, so I feel like that's going to hurt them in the end because 42 shades is a lot and nobody's going to get through them. And it was so funny, I think Paulina maybe said when they showed this picture where you see the four fingers and it's all four really colorful, vibrant mattes. She said she bets that those were the four interesting shades in the palette, and I gotta say she was right. So, yeah, it's just funny how those things happen. Glow Recipe just launched their Avocado Melt Sleeping Mask. I think a lot of people are really excited for this because mm -hmm. it's called an Avocado Melt Sleeping Mask. I haven't really heard anything overly exciting about Glow Recipe. I know a lot of people like their like watermelon sleeping mask and stuff like that, but I feel like it's more because, again, they have cute packaging and I don't know. It's not really my style, but you know, everyone to each their own. And here's another thing that ColourPop came out with. Recently, they came out with the Super Shock Shadow Volt. And this is 25 new Super Shock Shadow shades for $99. And I think if this was Karen maybe like two, three years ago, I would have been salivating for this. But I've so gotten over the whole Super Shock Shadow thing. I don't have, I have some still, but I don't really use any of my Super Shock Shadows. It's just like, I don't know, it's so much easier for me to reach for a palette and get everything I need. Okay guys, my camera batter battery died because I've probably been sitting here for like an hour talking about makeup. Are you enjoying this, honey? Mm -hmm. Okay, let me just go back to my spot. Okay, I talked about the avocado. Oh, okay, so I was talking about the Super Shock Shadow Vault, and yeah, I just can't imagine who's going to drop $99 on that situation, but good for you if you have that kind of money. Okay, so this is cool. This was a sneak peek by Color Rain. I don't know if this is like a magnetic palette or if it's going to be an actual like full collection, but it's gorgeous. Like the colors, the teals, the pop of red, that little pop of green. I know a lot of people have said like they almost wish brands would stop sneak peeking packaging because if the colors inside don't match what's actually um, on the outside of the packaging, people get really disappointed, which is true and totally understandable. So if the colors do resemble the packaging, I think it's going to be a gorgeous palette. Plus, honestly, color grain eyeshadows are one of my favorite formulas. They don't get enough use in my collection but they're so stunning. The glitters are so buttery. It's, it's unreal, you guys. So if you ever get a chance, I would recommend checking them out. Okay, here's one. I'm so excited for this. Oh my gosh. 
So last, this year, I did make a video called Brands I Want to Try in 2018. I feel like I far exceeded my expectations with that because I tried so many new brands this year and it was mostly because of Angelica because she films this same series and she features indie brands as well as mainstream brands and for a long time I would buy like a bunch of stuff she talked about that I hadn't heard about. It's happened less and less now because I was in an indie phase but now I'm kind of like buying, I'll buy like a little bit from everywhere but I just have so many palettes right now it's not something I'm checking for but this I had to buy. I just, I couldn't. I'm so excited to receive this. It should be here next week. It's the new Linda Hallberg. How do you say it? Linda, Linda Hall, Hallberg. Hallberg? Yeah. Is it Swedish? Yeah. Yeah, it's Hallberg. Say it louder. Hallberg. Okay. It's my own personal Siri right there. Uh, but Linda Hallberg, I think is how everyone else call, says it here in the US, but she is doing a new Metallic Mysteries palette. Oh my gosh, this one just screams Christmas to me, you guys. I'm so excited, I've been loving, so I went from like really bright colored eyeshadow to like the neutral gold shades, and now I've been really loving like Christmas shades, so I've been really enjoying wearing my Pat McGrath palette, the little mini one that is in the red packaging, as well as my bronze seduction palette. So I've been doing a really bad job of testing new eyeshadows because I keep going back to my old shadows that kind of remind me of the holidays and I cannot wait to get this. I'm so freaking excited. I also saw that she um, did a, another version of her, what is it called? It's like the Necessities palette. What is it called? Hold on. Let me look. Oh my gosh. Okay, here it is. Okay, it's called the, uh, the Infinity Deep palette. So, oh my gosh, it was 30% off on Black Friday. Dang it. So, I saw, I've saw i seen people talk about the light version, and it's basically a palette where you can do multiple things. You can wear it on your face um, as blush, highlighter, contour. You can do your eyeshadow with it. You can do your brows with it. And she came up with a, a version that was suitable for deeper skin tones. And it looked very basic in the photos, and I think Angelica even got it in PR. But the other day, um, YouTube suggested a Linda Halberg uh, video to me, and she was using the deep palette, and it looks so pretty. So now I really, really want it. <laughs> and I think I might ask for it for Christmas, or maybe my birthday, like early birthday. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. Um, <laughs> even though we said we're not doing gifts this year, rel has got, really you've got a lot of gifts this year already, right? So. What's one eyeshadow palette? What is one eyeshadow palette? Yeah, you can buy me an eyeshadow palette. Sure. <laughs> okay, Moschino is doing a collab with Tony Moly. You guys, I don't know if you remember this, but Moschino collabed with Sephora a couple of years ago. Was it last year? And they did that Bear collection, so this is that same brand. I personally don't need any of that stuff, so I'm going to be passing, but just so you guys know. I totally missed talk of this launch until I saw... Um, the Fancy Face talked about it on the Half Cousins podcast, but she was talking about these Lisa Eldridge New Plus True Velvet Lipsticks. These are gorgeous. I'm sure they're expensive. I don't even know how much they are. Oh, they're 26 pounds. So, uh, I think, how much is a pound now? Probably like a dollar something. Anyway, I bet they're pretty expensive. I don't know the conversion rate off the top of my head, but... Look, something. Huh? A dollar plump thing? Something. Oh, okay. Oh my god. Anyway, these are all reds. I saw um, Mel Thompson review them and they look gorgeous, but it's not something I would pick up. Like I said, if I'm buying lipstick, it has to either be affordable or something I really, really want if I'm going to pay the big bucks. You know what I mean? Okay, I don't know if I talked about this, but the Kim Kardashian Kylie collab for round two. Um, these like nudes they did honestly look so gorgeous. I kind of want it, but I won't buy it unless the only way I can see myself buying it is if it's on sale, like for like a really good price. I did see though KKW Beauty is doing like 12 days of beauty, so she's doing a sale each day, and I'm hoping the cherry bomb. Oh, no, I can't buy anything. Shoot. Well, whatever. <laughs> okay, here's something that came out during Black Friday, and I was kind of annoyed. 
Juvia's Place came out with two highlighters. It's called the Heroin Glow by Juvia's. And honestly, I think if they had just made square pans, I would have bought these right away. The price point's a little bit annoying too because they're $14.50 each, making them both $28 if you were to buy both, which I think is a little bit overpriced for Juvia's because like most of their palettes are under the $30 price point. So I can't imagine buying two highlighters for $28, so they need to like watch on their price point. And these, these, this packaging is so obnoxious. Like who, who wants like a circle packaging with a square pan? Like that makes no freaking sense to me. So I'm pretty disappointed actually in that situation and I won't be purchasing that. So sorry about that if you guys were excited. I think it's really, really stupid. Okay, so the new Marc Jacobs Holiday Collection is available. This is, to some people, I think their dream palette. And to some people, I think it could be the tackiest thing they ever saw. This leopard print packaging is, is a lot. It's doing the most. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's just a lot. So I'm passing on the whole situation, but it looks like they're doing one of their little eyeshadow palettes. It's called the Leopard Frosty Eye. Conning Multi Finish Eyeshadow Palette for $44.49. That is a really weird price point. And then some lipsticks. Haven't really heard a whole lot about it, so I don't know. Maybe someone's excited for it somewhere. Buxom did a collab with Shay Mitchell. It's a new cream highlighter palette called Divine Goddess. I don't know. I actually am subscribed to Shay Mitchell's YouTube channel. She seems to be on YouTube quite a lot, doing a lot of things. She's friends with a lot of the bigger influencers out in LA. So I don't know like if she's done anything as far as TV or movies go very recently after Pretty Little Liars. Actually, no, I think she's coming out with like a possession of like it's like a haunting movie. Probably not going to watch it. <laughs> she is really beautiful though and she always looks flawless but I don't think she does any of her own makeup. I'm pretty sure Patrick Ta does a lot of her like red carpet looks and stuff like that. So really not interested in buying anything from her. Okay, ColourPop did do their annual collection for No Kill LA and it's already out. I think these shades are very basic. Like I said about the Super Shock Shadows, if this was Karen like two, three years ago, I would have probably grabbed all of these, but for me, it's just not something I'm interested in anymore. So I will be passing on those. I actually sent this to Trend Mood and she tagged me. Sometimes I find things on the internet and I send them to Trend Mood and she actually like will share the picture and then she'll credit the account she got it from. And I've actually gotten to do that a few times, which is really cool. I mean, it doesn't really like, there's nothing like, it's not like you win a prize or anything, but it's pretty cool. So the Sephora small eyeshadow palettes, um, they were like a smaller version of their pro eyeshadows. I personally don't like the Sephora pro eyeshadow palette formula. So I haven't bought any since the ones I purchased when they originally launched and uh, I realized they weren't for me so I sent them back. I got excited because there's some indie stuff that I had put in my saved pile that I need to talk to you guys about so let me get to looking here. Okay so I wanted to mention the, oh my gosh I'm so excited for this situation, the Give Me Glow, okay this is my other exception so the Paulina palette and this palette, the Give Me Glow Christmas palette, is coming out December 7th at 12 p.m. Central Standard Time. I already have it in our calendar. It's $36. And I'm so excited for this because, again, the swatches look so amazing. This palette looks like Christmas Day. It's called Christmas uh, Morning, I believe. And I'm also kind of eyeing their um, lipsticks that they're doing. They're doing one called Miss December, and I kind of have my eye on it because December is my birthday month. But I don't, I probably don't need a lip, liquid lipstick. I think I just talked myself out of that. But I think I'm going to get the palette because I'm very, very curious. So Davina is doing a secret diary palette, which will retail for $60 and is launching December 7th at 6 p.m. I think they're doing singles as well, but oh, I've been so into these like muddy greens. So if you look at the palette, the middle row, I love that yellow and the two greens next to it. And then that like plum purple and the even darker purple on the bottom row right side look 
so stunning. I could not imagine spending 60 bucks on an all matte eyeshadow palette, but maybe someday I can pick them up on a sale or something like that. We'll see. Sugar Pill is coming out with seven new matte eyeshadows. I'm so excited. I recently, well, I picked up a Sugar Pill palette this year and I feel so bad about it because once I got it, it's one of those things, you know, like YouTube made me buy. YouTube made me buy a Sugar Pill palette. It wasn't something I was like lusting for. Well, I was kind of lusting for it, but it was like one of those things where I bought it to have it, not because I actually like, oh my God, like I need it. Like I didn't feel the same way I did as I did when I saw like Linda Hallberg palette. You know what I mean? So it's weird. I'm trying to get like, listen to myself more and really like ask myself like, do I actually want this or is it just like, Oh, everyone has one, so I have to get one, too. It's, I don't know. It happens. Okay, whatever. So anyway, they're doing new shades. And so far, we've seen four of the seven. And I must say, Bitter Melon and Arsenic are really calling my, my name because I love teals and I love green eyeshadows. So I do have my eyes on those or my eye on those. But, you know, Sugar Pill is a little bit spendy, so if you're going to buy it, you can't just, like, buy it willy-nilly, but I got my eye on those, and I'm really, really excited to see what all seven shades they come out with. Okay, guys, that is it for my Will I Buy It video. I don't know if I'm going to have another one of these out before Christmas, but I hope you enjoyed. Definitely leave me a comment down below if you enjoyed this little backdrop and hanging out in my living room. It was really nice and comfortable to film out here. There's more light, there's more space. I don't feel like the makeup is going to like eat because I am down in the basement usually filming and it's so nice to have natural light for once without like the studio lights glaring at me but I hope you guys are having an awesome day, week, month, year. I will see you guys in my next video soon. Bye guys.